a little game that came out a couple of weeks ago called Little or Little Gator Game, um, which is this really sweet, low poly uh, kind of mini open world sandbox uh, where you're playing as uh, this little crocodile who is trying to convince his big sister, who's come home uh, for for like the the half term break or whatever, uh, he's just trying to convince her to just play, you know, um, uh, like go out on, on adventures and that sort of stuff, like they used to do when they were younger. But because she's in the middle of, of college, she's doing her assignments, so he's trying to do all of these kind of adventures with all of his friends to try and make her either feel left out or you know get PMO and um, no, PMO is that the word I'm looking for? The term I'm looking for? Um, FMO, fear of missing out. Yes, sorry. Um, uh, FOMO. Yeah, FOMO. Trying to get, trying to give her FOMO so she'll join in with them. And so you, it's the the pacing of the game is really it's it's very much Elden Ring, um, or, or to to use a, a comparison in that it truly is open world. There's no fixed quest targets. There's no uh, there's not even a map that you can look at because the the world is very small. Um, you can get from one side to the other in you know a couple of minutes. Definitely not using, like Elden Ring. Though. <laughs> definitely not like Elden Ring. No. Um, but it's got a really like low stakes charm to it where you've got um, uh, one character, this girl who is hiding in the cave, who's pretending to be a vampire. And so she can't leave the cave because she can't go into the light, but she desperately wants uh, an ice cream. So you go to the uh, the ice cream vendor that is across from the cave. Uh, but then when you get there, the ice cream vendor's like, okay, that'll be $3. And your croc realizes, uh, oh, I don't have money. Will you take all of these? The, the currency in the game is like these bits of raffle paper. And he's like, no, mate, I, just give me some real fucking money. So he's trying to collect- he's an alligator and he's got like no currency whatsoever. It's I'm just saying like that. Yeah. You said croc, like it's called Little Gator Game. Can you be a crocodile or an alligator, or are you just <laughs> no? But the character's name is Croc from Croc. So he he's an alligator called Croc. Uh, I'm presuming that's that's the case. Yeah, you know, I didn't even consider that. Huh. Yeah, interesting. Those are the titular Sorry, Sean, what croc. croc two and Croc three. Oh yeah, Croc. Do you remember those? <laughs> oh, yeah, games? I tried one of those recently and it wasn't that good. It's what we it had. Was, I remember it's what we had. If you didn't have it, it's what we had. It's what we had. It, it was the, that and James Bond. Do you remember the Frog James Bond game? Yeah, but this is like after that, where you win the, the early era of 3D games, where you know the camera just it just wasn't working, and yeah, you couldn't really tell where you was jumping to, and it was all just a bit stiff. It was it was better than Crash Bandicoot. That's a that's that might be your boldest claim today, no, Sean. I, I think it's accurate. That first Crash Bandicoot still holds up. Um, uh, this is an outrageous claim. The remastered one was really good. I fucking hate the remaster. They fucked up the collision detection. I've got it and still you, would, you, would, you would slide off the edge because they turned like Crash's collision box from an actual box to like a sphere or something, and you just roll off the side. It was just it's they fucked you it. You probably played played a lot of it like back in the day, but I didn't play that much Crash Bandicoot back in the day, so Maybe. I found it very easy to get into. Wait, wait. Maybe. Where is the Croc Trilogy remaster? I've got Spyro. I've got. I Crash. don't think anyone's clamoring for it. I'm, I'm, I'm who the fuck sit, would sit here right here by now telling you I'm clamoring for it? Uh, who would even own the Croc IP at this point? Uh, probably I want, I fucking want Sean McGee by the sounds of it. Yeah. I want that, and I want a uh, 4K Ultra HD texture pack for uh, Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg. Naturally, of course, yeah, I can get on board with that. Yeah, I actually have behind me, for reasons I can't explain, I have a copy of Bubsby on the Mega Drive. I have that cartridge, and I don't have a Mega Drive. <laughs> that one's okay, isn't it? No, Bubsby's terrible. It is genuinely like I know people talk about how, uh, oh, you know, this game is really, really bad, and there's just this whole kind of culture. It comes down on this particular thing as just like a universally agreed upon thing that yeah this thing is bad but Bob's Wee actually is that fucking bad it's unplayable like you have Mega Drive games about Mega Drive out Although, I went through a period last year I bought six PSPs I bought was buying Mega Drive games I don't want to talk about it you bought Mega Drive games you probably took something in his bare feet he has a lot of toler it's on. it's yeah. uh it was it was a wild <laughs> time uh, not small Toblerones medium sized <laughs> yeah. Toblerones I hear it I hear he ended up in uh, Sheffield because he fell asleep on the tube. That's what I've heard. 
Uh, but little game game. It's it's a, it's a sweet little game. It's very low stakes. Um, it's a kind like of, cell shaded looking. Uh, it's yeah. It's it's got that low poly vibe to it. But I guess there is. It does have a kind of warmth to it that you would get with something like a, a cell shading. It's not exactly cell shading because it is three D. Um, but yeah, there, there is there is a warmth to it that just I don't know. It's just a very pleasant experience for a couple of hours. And I've been playing it on the Steam Deck, and just you know, you just kind of wander around and you just stumble upon situations that again they're all very low stakes in terms of uh, you know one of them. There's a little girl who's trying to get her dad to um, play uh, like pretend tea time and stuff like that um but they're all anthropomorphic animals and it's just yeah it's just it's just a very pleasant experience that i've been enjoying 